Hello everyone and good evening from Rabbit Bundru. This is a uh, special video to show you some of the work that I've just done today on this locomotive which happens to be 40 years old, a trying locomotive and I'd like to demonstrate something which I think you should all participate in if you get the opportunity with your model trains. Basically what I've done with this train today is that this morning this train started out as a black train, a train with no colour whatsoever at all, apart from the red buffer beam. That was it. Other than that it was black. So I thought I'd spice her up a bit and give her a good coat of paint. Uh, taking my inspiration from this picture, which is a bit different, but if I hold her up to it, you see the similarity. There we are. So I used these Citadel paints from Games Workshop. Um, water-based acrylics and I just painted them on several layers of the red coat and I used gold and silver and I even went on um, my computer and wrote out these uh, name plates which I stuck on with PVA glue and then gloss varnished over so you can see that LMS the Cambrian is her name number 4027 now that may not be an official number uh, it might be a different class but uh, it looks nice um, and uh, that's basically what she looks like inside. This is a very old motor that I need to clean up and fix, but that's what she'd look like inside. So what I did was I opened her up underneath. She's a very old engine, so she clunked around the layout. I have a video of her soon. Uh, I think I've got another video of her under the guise of uh, GNER4207, or a number similar to that. Um, but uh, all the S, it was, it was very dirty like this, so I gave it a good clean up. I'll do this one tomorrow. Wiped it down, cleaned all electrical connections, and uh, runs like a dream, really. Fantastic. I've got four LMS coaches I'll show you sometime. And she's been pulling those around the layout this evening. So that's absolutely fantastic. So uh, just like to show you with that. that. Uh, and do take a look at these Games Workshop paints, they're very useful mixed with water and uh, you can detail your locomotives even if it's just painting handrails or the dome or uh, or making them a bit dirty around the back so you can see I've done that on the buffer beams a bit um, so yeah I really do recommend those they're absolutely fantastic so I just thought I'd share with you this uh, this now beautiful little locomotive thank you very much for watching bye now